Hello, I am Charlie Hatch. I'm joined by FC Cincinnati's president, Jeff Birding, on the club's second anniversary from the MLS announcement. Jeff, is it hard to believe it's already been that much? Uh, it is. I, I, can't, I mean, the two years has just flown by. It's um, uh, like a lot of things with FC Cincinnati, things have just happened so quickly. Uh, but it's a, it's a fun uh, moment to reflect on all that uh, we've accomplished as a club with all of our supporters as a city in a pretty short period of time. What do you remember from that day? I remember it was really loud and really hot inside Ryan Geist. <laughs> uh, I remember being excited. Uh, we had had lunch with uh, uh, Don Garber uh, earlier that afternoon and uh, had some different things in preparation with Carl and uh, we made our way to uh, Rheingeist and um, uh, remember as we sort of walked through a back way, uh, glancing from above, looking down and seeing the setup and, and all the people there and, um, you know, all the supporters up on the stage. That, that part was uh, awesome. Uh, and um, I just loved it. I loved that it was in... Um, uh, in, in, uh, in a beer hall. Uh, you know, I joke that that's um, sort of epitomizes soccer and epitomizes FC Cincinnati, where you come to have a good time, to talk, um, to uh, connect. Um, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're not in the castle up on, atop the mountain. We're down in the, the neighborhood with people. Um, and I love that we were... Um, uh, invited uh, to join MLS in, in that setting. I thought it was awesome. Um, uh, I remember being um, having a special feeling seeing uh, my parents and um, um, kids uh, and Lindsay, um, my siblings, uh, some of whom were there. Um, so, you know, on a personal level, it was, um, it was such a neat moment. And, uh, and then of course, uh, going down to Fountain Square and seeing everyone who couldn't attend at Rheingeist because of the capacity limits, thousands of people being on Fountain Square still maybe 45 minutes after uh, the program at Rheingeist had ended. Uh, it was just, it was, I mean, it was just an awesome special day. I'm assuming, so the club started, or you started putting it together uh, on a legal pad. I'm assuming this is the house that you started doing that in. Um, Yes. So, I mean, what's it like to put together an idea of what you want something to be? And then you're standing on the stage like, oh, we've just completed it. And next year we're going to be in MLS. Uh, you know, it's, yeah, there's a certain uh, uh, amount of pride of, of wonder. I mean, you know, I, I likened it to when you're on the beach and you see a sandbar and you start swimming towards the sandbar and you get halfway out maybe and you don't see where that sandbar is and you have two options. You keep swimming or drown because you're never going to make it back. Um, I felt like once we launched in, in August the 12th of 2015, you know, we were going to work real hard. We believed in our plan. We had already hired good people and we were going to continue to hire good people. And uh, we believed in the organic opportunity that we were unleashing uh, with our supporters and with the city uh, rise together and what that meant. Um, but it, it was uh, relentless work. Uh, and so to a certain degree, when you're standing on stage there, you know, I had a feeling of taking a deep breath and exhaling, maybe it seemed like for the first time in a while. Um, but um, I don't celebrate the highs so much. I, I think our uh, people would tell you that. I, 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 I probably suffer from a belief that it's always on to the next uh, battle, the next project, the next step in our growth. And um, I'm not saying that that's a good quality uh, because I think sometimes it's important to, I need to do a better job of really appreciating what it took to get here. I think I did a little bit of it that day, uh, but I'm confident by the next day, I was thinking 277 days before our first match, <laughs> how in the world are we going to be ready when Atlanta and LAFC had three years 
and uh, most other teams had two years and we were going to have less than one year. Um, and, and that was audacious uh, in our belief that uh, we could be ready in such a short period of time. Finishing going on to the next project. So what's next for you? FC Cincinnati, obviously have a new coach coming in, West End Stadiums in the process, but what should we expect in this next year? Uh, well, certainly we're anxious to get back to soccer. Uh, we believe in the roster that Gerard has overhauled. Um, and uh, we're real excited to, to play uh, games uh, anywhere, uh, but certainly back at Nippert. Uh, so we're anxious for that. And I do believe at a certain point, we're going to continue to progress where that'll be possible. Maybe not in the way of 25 uh, to 30,000, but certainly the opportunity to play in front of our hometown fans. Uh, see, we're working in, uh, very hard uh, in final uh, steps of design uh, for West End Stadium and, and we're very excited to welcome people inside and um, uh, open next year. Um, we've had a great response from fans uh, to place deposits for the first seats that have gone on sale. Uh, and we want to continue to build, and we hope that that'll be organic like it, it has been up to this point. You know, in the first year, when the league average was 3,500 or so attendance, and we were drawing 17,000, we did it with the fewest ticket sales reps in the league. And everyone says, how do you get all those people with only four people selling tickets? And my answer is, the tickets sell themselves because people come to our matches, and then they invite their friends, and they invite their neighbors. Uh, they invite the uh, other youth parents on the sidelines or the other people at the bar. You got to check out a game. You got to come to an FC Cincinnati match. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. And I think a certain degree we're believing that that'll happen again, uh, where as people are seeing our stadium here in the renderings uh, and uh, having an opportunity to come to our experience center down on fourth street um, and then ultimately attend matches that they'll be inviting their friends and inviting their neighbors and the people at the bar uh, to come experience West End Stadium and, and this club that really we work hard to represent all that is best, all that is good uh, about Cincinnati. For sure. Obviously, there's a lot going on. Like you mentioned, a lot will happen that we'll find out about later. But thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. It's good to, rem to remember those uh, nice moments. So thank you, Charlie.